hello everybody. My name is Maria and I'm a PhD student at the German Institute of Human Nutrition at the Department of Clinical Nutrition led by Andreas Pfeiffer. And here we perform uh, clinical intervention studies uh, and investigate the roles and the effects of nutrients and dietary interventions in the pathogenesis of metabolic diseases. And now in this video I would like to share with you some data from one of our recent studies. We uh, recruited subjects with type 2 diabetes, uh, most of whom had also a fatty liver. And they received um, either a high animal or a high plant protein diet over uh, six weeks without energy restriction. And uh, in comparison to their habitual diets, the participants were consuming 10% more protein and 10% less fat, while the carbohydrate intake remained unchanged at around 40% of energy intake. We measured the intrahepatic lipid content with MRS, and we could observe that after six weeks of diet, um, the liver fat content was decreased by 40 to 50% in both groups, and importantly, uh, the um, liver fat content of nine of the participants fell even below uh, the threshold defined for an FOD. Uh, this result was accompanied by a decrease of uh, subcutaneous and visceral adipose tissue and also improvement of uh, plasma cytokines, liver enzymes and keratin-18. Uh, and um, looking for possible mechanisms, we observed that the um, free fatty acids, which are derived largely from uh, subcutaneous adipose tissue in the fasting state, were also decreased in both groups. And um, the decrease of the liver fat correlated with the decrease of individual uh, free fatty acids which uh, indicated that the decreased uh, lipolysis and the decreased free fatty acid flux to the liver contributed to the reduction of the liver fat. Um, and although the um, intake of branch chain amino acids and methionine was higher in the animal protein group, we uh, did not observe uh, any deleterious effects uh, or uh, an activation of the mTOR pathway in this group. Uh, and another interesting finding was the decrease of um, HF21 in zero, which was induced in both groups. And we hypothesized that this was due to a decreased uh, hepatic ER stress or perhaps due to the changes of macronutrient intake. Thank you for watching.